Hello, Mr. Gigabytes here. And today we're doing an inspection on an 1802 Commodore monitor. This was a monitor that I had picked up from eBay uh, a little while ago. And it happens to be the exact same model that I used to own. Uh, I, I once had the my Commodore hooked up to a black and white Kmart television and uh, my one of my aunts actually uh, gave me this this uh, uh, model monitor to hook up to my Commodore. So I've sped up the the video about uh, uh, three times, uh, just because it's a lot of uh, just screwing and unscrewing and poking around and and things like that. There are seven. Uh, screws that hold the back of this monitor in place. There's four around the outside and three right across the middle, right under the, under the, uh, um, well, right above the, all the connectors and whatnot. And then the, uh, once you have all the screws undone, it's just a simple matter of, of lifting the back off and then feeding the power cable through and you also have to disconnect the speaker. Now, if you'll notice, there are five RCA connectors on the back of this monitor, and there are uh, there are five potentiometers there. Um, the potentiometers, of course, are to adjust things like vertical hold and horizontal hold, and uh, and things like that, tint and color and whatnot. The RCA jacks, this can actually switch between a composite and also a, uh, also a Luma Chroma for a, uh, for a Commodore computer. Now I just shook that, uh, uh, the, the case, there was something rattling around in the case. I had actually not powered this up beforehand and I noticed there was a rattle uh, a little plastic tab broke off during shipment and that was the, that was the primary reason to take this apart the other reason was is to just inspect the uh, the capacitors and fortunately the capacitors checked out uh, everything looked great uh, it was very clean on the inside And so I just went ahead and began the reassembly process. Of course, you have to hook the speaker back up, feed the uh, power cable back through. This was just meant to be a quick inspection and then a, and then a power on test. And of course the three across the three screws across the middle there and then the four around the outside. Now, I'm hooking up this cable. This cable is actually, I discovered uh, recently that it is the wrong pinout. So I wasn't gonna be able to put anything up on the screen anyway, no matter what I did. 
it is a five pin connector, but it is pinned out for the VIC-20. Now I couldn't get any, any response out of the picture tube. Uh, nothing lit up. Uh, I couldn't see a picture, obviously. But it did, it powered up. But I just couldn't see anything on the screen. And that could be due to the, uh, uh, to the cable. In one of my next videos, I'll be making a uh, proper composite cable for the Commodore, five-pin composite cable for the for the Commodore 64. In the end, it didn't work, so there will be some additional troubleshooting later on. But uh, for now, thanks for watching.